Hey everyone, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. This episode, we're going to be working on some new housing. Uh, it's going to be along one of our main roads. And then what's going to happen is there's going to be a side road down here. This section on this side is going to be a church with graveyard, I believe. Uh, this section I'm not 100% sure on yet, uh, but there will be housing along this bend as well. So that's something to look forward to uh, between the next couple episodes. That's what we're going to be working on. In between episodes, of course, I have extended the road down, made this nice and smooth looking, planted some more trees because I like I like basically making the the palace keep thing look very overgrown and old looking with with trees because it, it basically to me means it's been there for a long time a, a very long time and you know it shows kind of great power in my opinion I prettied up this little doorway here to this tower since it was pretty bad this tower over here has been built we have some new wall section going up as well over here I built a retaining wall for the marketplace and a house is going to go in this area and then around and we'll have to build up on this wall here uh, soon which will look pretty cool even though we'll have some clipping through of leaves but that's not a big deal once we add the vertical pillars that's going to be covered up pretty quickly or at least become so busy that you probably won't even notice it uh, looks like we're getting some spiders in the area a little weird just go ahead and tell tell them to be taken care of. The bonfire implies there's goblins around, but I'm not seeing any. I might have already killed them in the bonfire, just a remnant of old old threats, basically. Not much else is going on. We're just gonna do a quick sweep of the area before we get started on our build. Gotta make sure everything's gonna be safe. It's funny to notice how many kind of infantrymen we do have. Uh, there's two there, two, two, two. So, I mean, that's six. Or is that eight? That's eight. And then there's one out on the road. Another one there. So, I mean, we have ten. All of our fishermen are back here pretty soon. Hopefully, once we get the town squared away and the surrounding wall at least started, we can start working on the port and giving these guys permanent homes. Maybe add a fourth fisherman of some kind. A lot of builders here kind of standing around. So what I'm going to have to do is get some cool flooring going. And I'm going to try and mix in two-story and one-story homes. And that is to just gives us some good height variation, which is important. Flooring. Let's, let's do flat stone for this home. And then put the grass back on this lower level. I cut away this lower level. One, for stone. As you can see, we're pretty low on it. Two, so I can see the perfect shape uh, pretty easily, which will help. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do not flat stone. Maybe a field stone for this one. It's a little different. I believe that's the shape for this. And terrain, put in our grass. So we can at least get all the, the floors done for these four houses. And let's go ahead. Use timber, no, not timber plaster. We'll use timbered brick for the foundation, at least on this one. For the exposed parts, let's go ahead and dig out these slanted blocks to make things nice and flush for us. Still getting another spider, so the game paused itself without me knowing. Go ahead and put it up on double speed. 
make sure things are getting done. The town is going really well. We're on day 146. There's really no major threats to us anymore. I mean, necromancers will definitely, I mean, they can be very annoying. And we might lose a couple people at most, or maybe lose a couple structures, but there's pretty much no way for us to be wiped out completely. I'm just going to go ahead and fly around, though. Kind of give you guys a quick glance of everything at this level. As you wrap around, and then once all these buildings are up, it'll look pretty cool. Everything's just turning out great, and this is probably one of the greatest things that I've built overall um, in terms of just total progress and total uh, unity of of a save. It definitely rivals La Floria in terms of just completion. Switch back to our RTS view. This tower still needs replaced and upgraded to a stone tower at some point. Did I have anything being dug out here? Yeah, I did. I don't know how long it's going to be before our miners get to that. I think we only have two miners. No, we only have one. I need another one of these. Uh, Matt Bernard. How about Wilfred Moore? You can, you can be a miner for a bit. Wilfred's a good name for a miner, I think. Construction walls, timbered brick. Pretty cool. Gotta get all of this started. Because without it, the wall is gonna look a little incomplete. This spot's a little weird. But it's okay, you can go with it. Sometimes it's best to have awkward spots as well. You can't make things perfect 100% of the time. And it might help make things look a little cleaner. I'm, I'm getting rid of some trees just outside the wall here because normally this would be cleared out anyways to give a good amount of view from the walls. And then also just fire hazard you know if a necromancer led a tree on fire and it happened to catch the wall on fire we might lose a good section of our base let's see another another freaking spider go away construction walls Timbered plaster, timbered brick. There we go. That'll bring up the foundation all nice like. I'm gonna have to get rid of that block. Those three. These. Also this. It's best to try and pre-plan a lot of the cutting that you're going to be needing to do while I have a miner in this area. Get rid of those. Okay. I think that's that's good enough. Question is, is the miner going to the mine? Yes he is. Let's just turn him around. Come on, come on back, Wilfred. Need you back over here. Let's put some timbered brick belongs. This is gonna be a two story, single story, two story, two story, I'm thinking. More two stories and then a single story, just to break it up once. This 
four is beyond skill of. He's probably going to try and mine something in the actual mines, which is not what he needs to be doing, anyways. No, not full timber. Castle. Timber brick. Come on. Oh. Looks like I need to dig out there. Mmm. The sound of hammers pounding away. Creating a nice. I might put the door on this one on this side. Just have it a little bit different. And then here, the door is going to be right here. And then I build a deck out here. Just so it looks like it fits in this corner a little bit better. Alright, so for this structure, the first floor will be full timber, I think. Which will look pretty nice. So we can go ahead and measure this out. So, the door will be in this section. Let's see if we can't fit a three block nice enough right there. That's okay. Get rid of that block so we're going to have a wooden seal. Miner leave us? Yes, he's probably gone. Do another quick sweep of the area. It's best to catch threats early on, people. If you're playing on your own save, you guys probably know how dangerous it can be. So, I want to try and do this as much as possible. Also, try and gather up some silk here. much of the mine needs dug out quite a bit but it'll hopefully give us plenty of stone in the long run because we're gonna need a lot of it and that's not something I want to buy I buy bricks not not the actual raw resource it's just not worth worth the time really did I set these to be rebuilt yes I did just making sure These houses are fairly close together, which is going to look pretty nice as well. Might put some shrubbery in between the houses. Maybe one open as an alleyway or something. Already 13 minutes in. Ugh, the things, the things we do for building. I mean, it, it can take a long time, and. That's probably a reason, the main reason why I can only do one episode a day at this moment. Um, I, don't, I can't really do this full time. So, you know, I get home. I might work on uh, some other things for a little bit before I get to play some video games. And then I only have a couple hours. And a lot of that's off camera work to try and get to a point to where it might be interesting to even record for you guys. So, I mean, I started working on this probably two hours ago. And I'm just now getting to record. And then I'll probably do an hour's plus work off camera in the middle of the episode to give you guys kind of a finished look at something. So, and that's before editing and then uploading so it can take plenty of hours just to make one video if you're doing something creative that's just time consuming and I'm not complaining about that that's that's just so you guys can know 
um, kind of just more of the process because I think a lot of people don't understand that doing this it does take a lot of time. If I was in Steam, I, I could tell you how many hours I just have in Medieval Engineers. And it's probably close to 300 at this point. So this is going to be a two-story. might be good to have it instantly hit a staircase. In here. I don't think we've had that just yet. Three, four. And then, actually, we can put a wall here. Construction walls. Full timber. Just enough to give us a little break. two-way entry right there and then this can be storage then here let's throw a fireplace I think on this wall so we'll have to dig out a spot just to make it flush and it's already nighttime wow so I doubt you guys can even see quite at the moment I am going to go ahead and work through the night, come in the morning, build maybe a little bit more, and then give you a tour of the four houses once they're fully done. Okay, guys, let's see if we can't finish up this building here in the morning of one, day 147 in a couple minutes, just so you guys can just see a little bit more construction progress, and then we'll just skip to a nice finished product. I'm gonna do a, a middle layer here to mark the floor of the second story of just umber brick and then we'll use that full timber. Let's go to the actual flooring here so we can get some smooth timber. And just plop that down. So this will be the second story. This is going to remain open, I think. In fact, I might make this kind of a single story section. And then this will be a second story section. See how well that might look. Don't like the grass trim on the bottom, but whenever you place the first block, of a certain type, especially stone. It will do this grass trim no matter what. A little bit of a nuisance, but that's okay. How quickly can you guys throw this house together? And then timber plaster for the base wall section here. That. Question is how high can this be to get away with this being a different height level? It looks like two. Two blocks just just to make it tall enough for a doorway here can even put some little windows in here just for something a little bit different almost like a clear story section
And this will just be an open archway onto the second floor. Then we'll do a ceramic roof. Kind of tilt here. I need another umber brick though. Just to act like a railing or something to keep it even more open. Open air stairwells can be pretty cool, I think. Quickly, quickly, don't stand in the middle of the doorway. You're not helping anyone. Thank you. Get, get down. There you guys go. Put our other roof now. Oh, that's flooring. Ceramic. Spider has been spotted, which is reminding me I should really check the countryside. I don't think I really did overnight. So let's do a quick sweep. Lower everything down. That side of the map is good. This side of the map is clean. Ooh, another chicken. Let's just domesticate that. It's been a little while. Some spiders in this area, but that's okay. We can leave them. Spiders, not a threat at this point. Everyone has strong tools, and even a farmer can pretty much one-shot a spider. So yeah, we can do a peek this way, a peek this way, in here, and just merge this section into the roof line of the main bedroom. And this will be two beds. Uh, a couple of dressers probably maybe a weapon rack for defense looking and then that'll be it um tell you what i'm going to skip at this point just because we're already over 20 minutes and we'll come back once everything is finished up in this section and or maybe not the whole section and it is kind of dragging on at this point maybe another house and then I'll do the other two off camera or something. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's early morning, day 149. It's been about a day and a half in game. And I have finished both of these homes. So my phone doesn't buzz. That would be nice. So if we go ahead and scroll down here, I can show you what we got on the inside. The upper floor of this house, of course, is the bedroom. It's got a kind of a master bed, two dressers, two small bookcases, a weapon rack, a shrubbery, just for some greenery effect in there. And then if we peel this down just a little bit more, we can see inside this home and we have one bed, a bookcase, weapon rack, of course, dresser kind of tucked in the corner, a fireplace, this table, you know, it's just a nice cozy one room cottage. In fact, I might even throw in stone bench. I like putting stone benches by these fireplaces. It makes it feel like it almost has a couch or some type of extra living expense there. This side, you guys have seen this all before, under the stair storage from treasure to food. Large bookcase, medium uh, table, two chairs, tool chest. It, it's all the usual stuff. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Building is starting to slow down a little bit. We are very tight on resources, even gold. So, oh well. Not much I can do about that. I might have to switch some people around to different jobs so that we can get, you know, a different... Not different. I don't want to say different. Just an increase in supplies before we start building again. Uh, but I might do that off camera. I do want to show you how open the staircase is, though. It does look pretty nice, especially from down here. You can see up, plenty of windows. It, it, it turned out pretty nice. And then, again, favorite view. You can see we're just expanding. And these buildings are small, yes, uh, and compact. And that's on purpose, because, you know, city-like living was small, compact, kind of 
enclosed spaces and then I also don't want to take it away from the larger buildings that we're going to be building like the church and uh, maybe some other civic buildings I'm not 100% sure on just yet. If you guys have any suggestions let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content feel free to subscribe to the channel for more creative goodness and I'll see you guys in the next episode.